In yesterday's very technical hearing, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission demanded better analysis of safety monitoring tools and more in-depth data before allowing Southern California Edison to restart a portion of the San Onofre nuclear power plant at partial power. San Onofre has been idle for nearly a year after damaged generator tubes caused a small radiation leak. Joining me with what's at stake and the possible next steps are as Martha Sullivan, former staff member of the California Public Utilities Commission and now a citizen activist. Martha, Martha thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. You've attended numerous hearings, protests over San Onofre, and you monitored la yesterday's uh, meeting online uh, in Maryland. What is the NRC's major concern? Well, I would say, I mean, the NRC's major concern is safety. I mean, that's what they're tasked with. They're tasked with uh, the safety of our nuclear facility. I will also say, from my long experience, that the NRC is very concerned with protecting our nation's nuclear industry. So that's a primary concern of theirs as well. Safety of San Onofre and protection of the, the nuclear, uh, nuclear power industry. Okay. How are the NRC's concerns, especially last night, which the concerns, the safety concerns, how are they aligning with uh, public opinion in, as far as you're concerned? You know, this is very interesting because um, the last two meetings, the last two public meetings that the NRC has held, which have been more technical review meetings, the NRC staff has actually asked questions that have been raised by citizen advocates for the last, you know, several months. So it's actually kind of heartening that they seem to be sort of paying attention and maybe they feel like, you know, they've got some cover since they have, you know, us on the outside really pressuring and really pushing the NRC to do a thorough, you know, impartial review of Edison's proposal to restart these defective reactors. Well, speaking of Edison, Southern California Edison, who operates the plant, has again refused our request to be interviewed, but sent a statement saying, in part, safety remains our top priority. So they also uh, say that as well. In the meantime, the California Public Utilities Commission is investigating Edison's cost to rate payers who are still being charged uh, for this power, even though the plant has been offline uh, since January of last year. So where does that stand now as far as the uh, CPU and uh, the, the, the CPUC has just opened its own investigation into the, the idling of San Onofre since last January. And the, the CPUC's uh, constitutional mandate is to guarantee safe and reliable electric service at reasonable rates. So that's the core of their investigation, although they don't have any jurisdiction over nuclear safety. Um, they still have to look at that safe and reliable service aspect. Their primary focus is on reasonable rates. And, you know, as you've pointed out, we basically are now up to a billion dollars that we spent on these steam generators that were that Edison replaced. Yeah, let me let me just bring that up. Stand enough for steam generators were actually uh, overhauled, uh, the, including the problematic ones, Unit Two and Three, uh, within the last couple of years That's at right. a cost of six hundred seventy million dollars. So that money uh, was spent. Uh, to no avail, it, it, it seems. Um, how much is it expected to cost to get San Onofre working again, including those two units? Well, that's still kind of a big mystery because Edison has proposed to restart to the NRC, but the NRC is not responsible for cost or rates. So we don't know how much this is going to cost us. What we do know is that Edison has admitted that it spent, you know, going on $400 million this year in addition to the almost $700 million they, they paid to replace these steam generators. They've spent $400 million this year because these steam generators failed. Um, San Onofre, Edison says, is, a large, is the largest voltage support in the region and they call it, quote, critical to the state's energy needs. Is there any other place that can generate that kind of well, uh, the, energy the, for us? The California Independent System Operator doesn't agree with Edison because they're already planning to, they're planning for 2013 without San Onofre, and they've already identified the retired Huntington Beach power plant. 
uh, not to run to generate electricity, but to operate as what's called a synchronous condenser to provide that voltage support. So right. there's plenty of ways to provide what San Onofre did in a much safer, more reliable, less costly way. Okay, Martha Sullivan, thank you so much for talking with us tonight. Thank you, Peggy.